This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting episode of Freeform Friday where we play some random video game and today's game is called Factory Town. Let's get to it. We're going to start a new game here. I guess we'll just do scenario default starting biome. All this stuff we can change. So scenario default starting biome mountains plateau. Archipelago, volcanic islands, flat? Should we just do super flat? Flat seems kind of boring. Craters? No, that looks terrible. Foothills and canyons? Islands? That could be fun. Can we look at it? No, that's a pretty big map. Uh, lake? Or lake land? Swamp forest? Well, that looks nice and flat, but at the same time, a little bit of tech. Let's do swamp forest. Okay, available biomes. Uh, map size, medium, creative mode off. Everything else looks good. Uh, let's create. Oh, you can also edit the map. That's pretty cool. All right, we got our tool tips here. I wonder if it's going to take us through the tutorial again. Yep, yep, it's going to. So it kind of walks you through the gameplay here. I played a little bit of this uh, offline. So you select your little people. You tell them to go gather the wheat like that. Gather, gather the wood, gather wood. And then uh, we should have another little dude right here. No, dude, you start gathering stone. Should probably put everybody on wood, but we're gonna already know what to do. So we're gonna do that. And then we're going to grab our pathing here. And I'm actually going to put a path like this right over here to the wheat. And then we're gonna rotate around. We're going to put, oh, we got a really good start. We got wood, we got wheat, we got, we got all the things. So we're gonna go like that and go ahead. Can I just get rid of that? Hold on, let's get rid of that. Can I not check that? Get off there. Yeah, I left click. I told them they're going to, oh, I guess they'll stop when I collect 15 wood. But I was spending wood, so that's a thing too. So let's let it go and get 15 wood. The one thing that's slightly annoying about this game is you can't speed it up or slow it down. Like in games like this, you kind of want to be able to speed things up to move things along a little faster. But you can't do that in this game, which is slightly annoying. Um, but maybe once I get a much bigger town, it won't be that big of an issue. So we're going to place the houses close to the wheat here. That way it's easy for them to deliver. So then we select the little dude, we select the wheat, hold it down and then drag over to the house. Now he should, he'll just start taking it over there and making us money. Okay. So now we got to build some workers so we can put Two new workers down, so we'll just do that. I hit save the back out of that, and now we're just going to tell the workers, uh, select you, and you are going to do that, and you are going to also get me some wood. Okay, there we go. So now we got to gather five stone, which we've already done. We already have five stone. Uh, select building, select lumber mill. Click the place. Okay, so we need to build the lumber mill and we're going to build that. Not enough population. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we got one too many peeps. We got one too many peeps. We're gonna have to build another house. Can I build, build it right there? Can I build it there? I can build it back. Hold on, let's rotate the camera. Am I all up on the, the thing there? Yeah, that's all up on the thing. So we're going to do that. There we go. Okay, so that's better. Uh, now, what we need to do is build the lumber mill because it increased our population so we can have a worker inside the lumber mill. And let's rotate this way. We'll rotate the lumber mill that way. And look like I can place it. Can't afford more resources for the... What do I need? What am I missing? What am I missing, lumber mill? One person, 50, oh, 20 wood. Okay, now we got the 20 wood. Okay, so we'll place the lumber mill there. That lets us build new stuff. So we'll uh, do that. And we're going to go select recipe. And we're going to tell the lumber mill to make planks. But now, in order for that to happen, somebody has to take lumber to it. So this dude is going to do this tree and then take lumber to there. And this little fella right here, come here, little fella. Are you the one? Where are you going? You, where are you going? You went there, now you're going there. Yeah, great. You, you are going to take planks from there to the main base. Okay, great. Now, unpause it. 
Now everything should be working out fine, and we just gotta wait for, I already did that, he did the thing, great. Now we're moving right along. So essentially this game is just like an infinite loop game. Your whole main goal is to bring resources to the houses and make stuff and bring it to the houses, which gets you gold and different coins. And then those different coins allow you to research and build new things that you can then take to the houses and so on and so on and so on. And you create a factory doing so, like factory type town. You get, you can see here we got shoots and you get a bunch of other random stuff. So select a house and we need to upgrade a house. Let's go ahead and we'll upgrade this house. But bam, it's been upgraded. Okay, and now that allows us more population. Now we need to select the base and we need to upgrade the base, but we don't have enough happiness. If we take a look here, they're not happy because they're not getting any goods. So you, you are going to take goods to that house. Now what we can do is I'm eventually going to tear these down and we will move those houses over here in a bigger area. But for now, we're just going to leave them there and let's see, can we place one right here? No, I don't have enough resources yet. We need 15 wood. So let's place one more. Nope, I want to place one more worker and have them getting wood and bringing wood back to the main base so you you take wood there now that should should have more i think we have two going there now so you can pause the menu as well and just highlight over them to see what everybody is doing you're taking wood there you should be yeah moving it from there to there you're bringing stone you're bringing wood to there so we have two that are taking wood you're taking wood to there you're taking no you need to you need to also take wood to there. We only need one making planks. You're going after wheat. What are you doing? Your wheat, your wood. So now we have two going to here, one going to here, and then one going to here. I think that's pretty good. It gets a little crazy because these little workers end up like being everywhere. And uh, it's kind of hard to keep track of them after a while. It gets a little bit, I guess, a little bit easier once you can make shoots and just have them like drop off of the shoots. But then you have like carts moving stuff between buildings and it's a little wild. Gets a little wild. Uh, that's about as far as I got. I didn't play too terribly much. I just kind of wanted a little bit of an idea of what was going to go on here. So we just need a little bit more wood. We're almost there. One more and we can build a house. And then what we're going to do is we're going to rotate. I want to, can I put it here? Oh, I can. Is that going to screw up pathing? That may. But you know what? It's fine. I'm doing it anyway. And then, uh, okay, so we have that guy's taking it to there, that guy's taking it to there, and then we need one more little fella. Hello, little fella. You are also going to harvest wheat. Get this wheat out of here. I need to make a path. So, yeah, there you go. Harvest that right up and deliver it to that house. Now, that should slowly, yep, see, they're all happy now. So we need one more house. And uh, so it means we need another 15 wood. We get that other house, then we'll have four happiness, and then we can upgrade our main base and move right along here. So another thing we can do is, like, for example, if I wanted to take the shoot. So they're wasting time running around. So what you could do is you could take a shoot. It's going to spend wood. It's one wood per. But we could do something like put a shoot here and then drag it all the way over to here. And then just have two little guys like bouncing back and forth between putting it in here and in here. I wish you could multitask the little fellows and have them like say once, go here once, then go here once, then bounce like back and forth. But uh, maybe that'll be doable once I unlock the conveyor belts. I could like divide the conveyor belt and evenly distribute stuff. But right now for the little workers, they just kind of run around all haphazardly and derpy like. Okay, so we're going to put our last house there, and we're going to need another person taking stuff to it. I'm just going to put him there, and then you can farm that wheat and take it to that house. There we go. Now we have it, so we can upgrade that, so we get uh, max houses are increased, so we can get more houses now. Okay, check that. Uh, now we can make the market, but I don't want to make the market just yet because... Like I said, the market does like a pretty big area and I want I want to bring houses through here 
and then have the market like over here taking care of all of the houses. I can show you the market though. So here's the the chute, the footpath, the worker. We got the wagon we haven't unlocked yet. Food markets right there. We got structure blocks, tons of different stuff. You can just make the place look pretty. So let's go to buildings and the market. And you can see the green circle. That's all of the houses like in that area. But I want to keep it kind of close by to all of the other stuff that's going on here. Because what we're going to have to eventually do is we're going to have to come over here and get wheat here, get wheat here, get wheat. And uh, over here, it's going to get a little crazy. Over here is our next big patch. Actually, what we could do, since a lot of it's over here, we could maybe put the market right around in here-ish. That could work. Because then it's a lot closer and they can continue to go to there. That's also not a terrible spot. Not too much further for them to run. What about that? Ooh, ooh, that's even better. That's closer to where I want. It does a pretty big area and it's kind of centralized around all the wheat. Yeah, let's put it there. Did a little bit of playing off camera. And as you can see, got, got a little bit going on here. So we have uh, a chute built and you can see we have, and let me see if I can zoom in here. I'm an archway here so that they can go under it. I basically just stack to, uh, let me go to the right button here, hit the right button for the menu. Uh, you just use the wood pillar scaffolding. And uh, I did that, built that up twice, and then just built the chute straight across. When you're building a chute, it shows you the inputs. You can see there, we can input there, there, there. That's an output. Uh, same thing here, you can input all those locations there. So it basically shows you where you can input the different spots. So they're just rolling, rolling the logs directly in there. We're just making planks like crazy. Uh, we don't have any, I need to, well, actually now that I think about it, I need a couple of these guys. They're all doing that. We need a couple of them taking logs to here. Just so we're actually like getting some, some logs and not just making everything in the planks. You can see right now we got a ton of planks. So I wonder, can we split this off? If I do R... Ooh, does that actually work? Is that really a thing? So now if I do they split? No, it doesn't look like they do. So you can overlap, but they don't actually they don't actually split. So I'd have to have another one running parallel to this one to run into here, which I guess I could do. It's going to block off this pathway here. Anybody wants to come through, we'll have to come like down this way and through here. Could also maybe build higher and build into it. I'm not sure. But you can see the general setup of what we got going on here. I have a cart going from here to here. Carts carry four of an item at a time instead of one at an item of an item. So it's only carrying one right now because I only got one worker on the wheat. But if I put a few more workers here on the wheat, things would go a lot quicker and the cart would uh, be carrying four at a time. So we could probably put one more over here on the wheat just to kind of speed it up finally cleared my path through here so we can build out this way now now it wants us to build a stone mason so we go path stone mason and we'll rotate that around to there now it gets us some new structure pieces new bunch of new goodies here we're gonna tell that to make the so there, now what we can do, I'll show you some more of the shoot action here. So we'll turn that that way, and it looks like I'm going to input into the right building. Okay, I think that'll input into the right building. So what we want to do is we want to not keep hitting escape too many times. For some reason, some stuff you can right click and it goes back out of the menu. Other things you can't, you have to hit escape. That's slightly annoying. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the wood pillar scaffolding here, and let's do two there, there. I think that should be good. That should give us pathway. That way they'll still be able to walk underneath of that, and we won't be blocking the path. Now if I take the chute from here, should be able to, they're not going to extend up. Um, I may have to build something a little more complex. So let's go back into our build menu. 
in scaffolding block. I think we have to do two high there and then one high there. And then I don't know if I have to build the, the ramp part to this or if it'll just let me place the structure now. Yeah, it's going to want me to build the ramp. So let's go back into the, the build. See, like I can't right click to get rid of that. I can't hit B to go back into the build menu. I have to hit escape, then B. Um, and then we want the ramp. Now if we rotate that around into there like that, okay, that should do the trick. But yet I can hit three and go directly into the scaffolding from here. I don't know, it's kind of wonky. Why does that not let me place across there like that? It let me place directly across that one. No issues whatsoever. Okay, I figured out the issue. I had to build them three high. So apparently they're clipping through the block here. They're clipping, their heads are clipping through the chute on this one because it looks like the chute sets in between the pillars. So I had to build that. I built that a little higher than I needed to, uh, but it should be doing the job just fine. Now we're going to find our little dude. That's our stone guy. So stone guy can now go directly from here to here and it should make his job a lot faster than that stone is going to roll directly into, uh oh. Stone does not roll uphill. So now we have a problem. Now we have an issue with this whole setup here because the stone doesn't roll uphill. Um, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to figure that out. However, we have hit our wrap-up time uh for this video. I hope you all enjoyed this video. This is a really neat, like we got fish over here, there's so much stuff. It's a really neat little game. I like it. It's super tiny too. I think it was like only like 255 megs if even that like it was so freaking tiny of a game like I couldn't believe how small it was for the complexity of the whole thing because I mean like we haven't even gotten into the logistics blocks the compute blocks like farming and mining and pipes and there's so much stuff there's conveyor belts I mean we haven't even gotten into that and just we got yeah we have uh cloth conveyors and metal conveyors and all kinds of stuff and you can just build and build and build and cover this whole whole freaking like look at the size of this map this whole map go over here like it's a massive map cover it in like this little factory town it's a really cool little game i will put the link for it in the description it may or may not support the channel depending if it is on the humble store or not so that is going to wrap it up for this episode if you like what you saw consider hitting that sub button i want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible you all are absolutely amazing people if you would like to join my elite crew patreon supporters please check out the link in the description below if you enjoyed this video please comment down below let me know what you thought if you're shy you don't like to comment just hit that thumbs up button and show your support until next time thanks for watching